What's going on guys? PDOT here with the tutorial on how to achieve that NPC swing on your drums in Ableton. So I went ahead and programmed a very simple drum pattern in Ableton. Let's give that a listen. Okay, so I mean you can see it's just a really simple hi-hat, open and close hi-hat, a kick and a snare, or a clap I should say. Um, sounds pretty stiff, a uh, little lifeless. Uh, what producers would do back in the day if they were programming on an SP-1200 or an MPC is they would adjust the swing on the pattern to give it a little more funk, give it a little bit more soul. This can also be achieved in Ableton Live. On the, the interface itself, you don't really see it, it's a little hidden. So what you do is click on this button right here to open up the groove, groove pool. Go ahead and right click and then select Browse Groove Library and you'll see it takes you to the you know the Ableton packs and by default Ableton comes with a bunch of different swings from you know hip-hop swings, Latin uh, swings, Logic, MPC, SP1200 uh, you get a, a whole bunch of variation and within those you get a, a lot more variation as well um, me I came from an MPC background so I'm a little I'm used to the swing and the way it should sound so I'm gonna go ahead and pick one of these swings. Notice it says MPC 8 and MPC 16. What that corresponds to is, uh, you know, quarter or quarter notes, eighth notes, sixteenth notes, uh, which can be seen, you know, right here at the bottom, and matches up here. So I usually use the sixteens because it gives a uh, you know a little bit more flexibility. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the 57 swing. Make sure to bring the quantize all the way up. You can adjust this uh, down uh, to your taste uh, as you go. I mean, th the one thing about Ableton, which is nice, is that these grooves are non-destructive. So what that means is if you s go ahead and add a groove to a drum pattern and you don't like it, you can just go ahead and deselect it and nothing has changed and it goes back to the way it was. So you can audition a whole bunch of different grooves and a whole bunch of different swings to find which one matches the track the best. So let's give the track one more listen to, uh, playing without the swing. Okay, now let's activate the swing for this drum pattern. That can be done by go, going to the clip section right here and under groove, selecting the groove that, that was added in the groove pool. Now let's give it a listen. Now you can hear that the hi-hats are swinging a little bit. You know, they're not necessarily on perfect time. They have a little bit more more groove to them. Uh, let's make it a little bit more pronounced. So let's select Swing 61. Bring that all the way up. And let's change that here on the clip. Now let's give it a listen. Now you can hear those hats are swinging a lot harder and, you know, has a lot more groove than the, the normal pattern without the, any groove at all. So let's give it one more time without. And now let's turn it on again. It makes a huge difference. Um, note that this is not only applicable for drum patterns, you can do this to MIDI notes. Uh, if you're playing an instrument or a synth or anything like that, you can swing those as well. Any MIDI information can be uh, adjusted using the swings in the groove pool. So, I mean, go ahead and experiment with this. Uh, hope this helps you guys out. Um, if you found this useful, please make sure to like and subscribe. Also, if you have any comments or questions, please leave those below. And if you have any suggestions for videos, please leave those below as well. And I'll try to get those answered for you as quickly as possible. Thanks, guys.